I do what I can with what I what I have, uh-huh. um, and that's that's fun. That's all I can ask for. But um, yeah, I don't know where where I can go genre wise, um, but I always am trying to stretch myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think the most important thing is keeping yourself open to how music is evolving, not only in Korea but right. all over the world. Right. And it's hard to be as diligent as you're supposed to be in keeping up with all the trends Mm -hmm. you need a lot of time to sit and just listen to stuff um but you know when i can get the time and i expose myself to new things i'm always inspired and Mm. i'm always surprised where i can go so Mm. yeah um we'll see we'll see Mm. i think that's so humbling like our interview already i think you've mentioned at least three times how you're so open to hubes and Mm -hmm. And uh, culturally, it's kind of like hubes can only learn from zhambes, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, no, but that's, so, yeah, that's not true at yeah. all. Um, it, in fact, it's the opposite. If, you know, the longer that you've been doing one job, regardless of what it is, mm-hmm. music or otherwise, um, it's really easy to get stuck in the rut. You you have your formula, you know what works, mm. and then you're afraid to kind of, uh, you know, riff on that, and you don't want to stray from that path, mm-hmm. right. um, that surefire thing that you know. But sometimes that process can get stale in and of itself this is true mm. and then we always listen to artists that uh their subsequent music just keeps sounding more and more the same and sounds like yeah. right. very true. very recycled because mm-hmm. when you're all doing everything by yourself you can kind of get stuck in your own little universe mm-hmm. microcosm so you need to be exposed and challenged and even offended <laughs> by other external influences do you have any influences musically that you still get from certain artists or maybe yes my guilty pleasure um oh i like this okay spice girls (laughs) (laughs) taylor swift no finkle Uh, (laughs) red velvet i was always a huge fan of tori amos (gasps) ever since i was in high school Uh Uh, and she was a huge early influence of me and now Uh. she's she's still in her 50s and doing music but her music is kooky Mm -hmm. and um it gets more and more difficult it wavers between difficult almost unlistenable to okay almost radio friendly Mm. kind of um, but she's very unapologetic about her music and right. she, she just keeps going and she keeps going. And so, uh, even though I don't really get a lot of musical inspiration from her now, like mm-hmm. I used to back in the day, mm-hmm. uh, if she comes out with something, I autom- automatically, oh. I'm buying that album. I just, I have to, oh. it's one of my kind of my guilty pleasure, <laughs> yeah. um, people. And, uh, and I'm also inspired by someone who can just keep going and keep going and, uh, try to stretch themselves as much as they can. Right. Mm-hmm.